Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a really important topic, the five behaviors you should never tolerate in a relationship. Let's go right into it. Some of these are tricky to recognize sometimes, so pay attention. I'll also tell you why you shouldn't tolerate them. I know this can be hard to hear sometimes, especially if you really love someone. My heart goes out to you and I hope this video will be helpful to you. I have a bunch of more relationship videos you'll find in the description down below if you want to watch later. First up, and this one is absolutely non-negotiable. Your partner invades your privacy. What does this look like? They might insist on reading your text messages and emails even though you've never given them a reason not to trust you. They might want you to talk on the phone with the speaker on so they can hear what is said. These are not normal behaviors. I'm assuming here that you haven't done anything to break their trust and that your partner shouldn't have a reason to suspect you of anything. Under these circumstances, Wanting to know your business in such detail is nothing more than a form of emotional abuse and an attempt to control you. And by the way, invading your privacy also means going through your physical things like your desk, your closet, your car, etc. It means walking in on you in the bathroom without your permission. This is not just unknowing, it's a violation of your personal space period, especially if you've told them to never do it. They know better but choose to overstep your boundary. The second behavior you should never tolerate is considered a good indicator that your relationship will end. That's contempt. John Gottman, Dr. John Gottman, a leading expert on marriage and relationships, identified contempt as one of the four horsemen of the relationship apocalypse, a set of four negative communication patterns that really predict divorce with alarming accuracy. The four horsemen are criticism, defensiveness, stonewalling, and contempt. With contempt, being the most corrosive to relationships. You know it when you see it because it probably sets you off. Your partner rolls their eyes at you with a smirk or mocks you sarcastically. Perhaps they use hostile humor, supposedly just joking but being cynical, even resorting to name-calling. It's all a form of belittling you, discounting your ideas, invalidating your feelings, and putting you down. It feels awful. If you want me to do a whole video on contempt and how to defend yourself against it, drop me a comment below and I definitely will. Next up is dishonesty. Trust is the foundation of any relationship. If your partner is constantly lying or keeping secrets, that foundation starts to crumble. It doesn't matter if it's a little white lie or something more serious. Deception is breeding insecurity and anxiety. You can't build anything real without trust. Sometimes it's not so much that they're lying. It's more that they're hiding things like those guys who end up having two families in two different towns and the whole thing usually takes years to discover or they're hiding financial information, an affair, a gambling addiction, whatever. Basically, if your partner has to hide something, they know you'll be upset about it and if they know that, they shouldn't do it. I would even put gaslighting in the dishonesty category because it purposefully distorts your reality. Please hit the like button to let me know that this video is useful so far and to help YouTube know that too so it will show the video to more people. 
subscribe to get more videos from me. Thank you. Okay, number four, chronic neglect and emotional unavailability. In other words, your partner treats you like furniture, takes you for granted, and is never available when you need emotional support or a nice hug. When your partner is always distant, emotionally checked out, or simply not there when you need them, it leaves you feeling rejected and lonely, wondering if it's your fault somehow. This could also mean a lack of communication as your partner consistently fails to engage in meaningful conversations when you could normally make a deep connection. It could also mean that your partner consistently does not show appreciation, no matter what and how much you do for them. Neglect and emotional availability also means lack of affection and physical intimacy. Neglectful partner may not show up for activities and does little to nothing to nurture your relationship. A relationship should be a partnership, a place where you can share your feelings. Feel safe to be vulnerable and feel supported. If you're constantly feeling neglected or emotionally starved, it's time to reconsider whether this relationship is the right one for you. Number five gets missed sometimes because it could be subtle or confusing. That's emotional blackmail. That's when your partner uses guilt, fear, or obligation to manipulate you into doing something you otherwise may not want to. They may also threaten to leave or harm themselves or you or reveal personal information about you if you don't comply with their demands. You might fear losing the relationship, being punished physically or emotionally, or triggering an unpleasant reaction for your, from your partner, setting them off. You may feel unspoken or explicit sense of duty and obligation to meet your partner's expectations or desires, Often because they make it sound like they've done so much for you, you owe them. So then you feel guilty if you don't comply and they call you selfish, unloving or unreasonable. Emotional blackmail works because it preys on your emotional investment in the relationship. The other person knows that you don't want to lose the relationship or disappoint them and they expect exploit the, this vulnerability in you. The blackmailer may also be skilled at alternating between warmth and coldness, offering affection when you comply and withdrawing it when you don't. It's like a carrot and a stick. This creates a cycle of reward and punishment and you feel trapped in a constant state of trying to earn approval or love. Emotional blackmail is emotional abuse. I have a whole video on emotional abuse. Check it out. I'll also put it in the description down below. So there you have it. Five behaviors you should never tolerate in a relationship. Remember, you deserve a partnership that is built on respect, trust and emotional safety. If you're seeing any of these red flags, please do not ignore them. These things don't tend to get better. They just get worse and worse over time the more you let your partner get away with things. So thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more relationship advice life tips and discussions about how we can all build healthier, happier connections. And of course, feel free to um, drop your thoughts in the comments below. What's one behavior you think should never be tolerated in a relationship? Let's keep the conversation going and we're all learning from each other. See you at the next one.